Hello there my fellow Holotable heroes and welcome to another Swaga video. So I'm back here in Arena testing Darth Vader counter. Now I've done before uh, actually thrown lead with Vader countering uh, Ray uh, with Malak. Now that theme is very common in Territory Wars as well as GAC. So if you want to check that out there will be a link in the description below. But in Arena, uh, in, that's in both of my accounts actually, majority of people will use Ray. Uh, with all the Jedi and what, right? So for this one I find Darth Vader uh, lead actually better than Throne lead, so in this video I'll show you uh, how I'm using this team to easily beat all the Rays and Jedi in my arena. So let me first uh, show you the mods of my team here. Now our mother Vader here is Relic 6 and why I like to use him uh, over Throne lead when going up against Galactic Legend Ray with Jedi is because every uh, this Ray team will have Jedi Knight Revan in there and with his leadership it adds turn meter removal. Now Jedi Knight Revan, you can't ability block him, you can't stun him, okay? Uh, so he's got direct focus, you know, he's got that cleanse ability and everything, turn meter swap. Uh, so in order to be able to control him, uh, you, I use lots of turn meter removal on him so he doesn't get a turn until you know it's too late that he can actually do anything so that's why I think it works really well Vader's lead here as well as what Vader leads add uh, obviously once you have Zeta on him is the damage over times once you apply them they will never expire so they will quickly build up and you'll be able to do some big hits there uh, on everybody now looking at his mods um, this is the same mods as uh, my throne counter so if you've seen that video uh, you will know what kind of mods I'm using here. So having modded, you know, target speed uh, when I was testing, you know, if you get 250 at least, it's kind of fast enough. Um, then obviously got some critical damage triangle on him to boost his damage. And then try to max his potency out as much as you can. In my case, I got it up to 95%. Um, and then, you know, if you can boost his offense, but most importantly, you also need to boost his critical chance here. Ideally critical chance would be over 70% but I just do not have a uh, good mods here uh, that I could actually get his uh, critical chance any higher up without sacrificing potency and potency is more important because you need to land those debuffs because even non-critical hits with Vader they will do massive damage uh, once you have a merciless massacre ability activated and lots of debuffs on everybody. Now up next here, uh, I like to use Bastila in this team as well. Uh, again, uh, you know, she can uh, apply fear on Jedi Knight Revan, so he can't again get a turn and do his nonsense. As well as, you know, those her fear and everything, she puts lots of other debuffs for Vader to a nice big hit. Now I, I have her here at Relic 4 and I have her modded for speed and potency, so, you know, she can reliably land those um, debuffs and her speed around 300 I think that's good enough and her potency at about 100% there. Now additionally what's really cool about uh, Basti once you add Zeta on her because Vader will be in leader slot uh, he will receive amongst other bonuses most importantly 50% potency so you know his debuffs will stick consistently. Up next here uh, I have a relic free Treya now why I like to use Treya in team obviously is to put Isolate because what will happen, what will put um, Tank Tech over on Kenobi and Kenobi will get permatant. Uh, so Treya solves that by isolating uh, Kenobi. Uh, as well as she kind of acts as a tank for you because when Jedi Knight Revan does get a turn eventually he's programmed to always go after Treya so he will direct focus on Treya for you leaving you know your throne and other guys uh, available to do their thing, what they need to do. Now in terms of mods, again her speed, you know, around 250 or above I think is good enough. If you can, put some protection on her so she can take a few hits for you once she gets direct focus by Jedi Knight Raven. Other stats for her don't really matter, she's really there for the isolate at the end of the day. The next here, have a throne, so having a relic free and he's just modded for speed really. Also if you can put some protection on him just so he can survive in case you know things do go wrong at some point um, and you know speed anything from 300 plus will be good enough I think. And finally here I have Watson Boar here so mine's a Trelic one uh, but I've seen my shard mates doing it even with a 6 star and gear 11 watt but obviously you know the tankier he is the longer he'll be able to survive and you know he does add 
uh, some nice uh, things. Apart from his tech, uh, every time uh, your ally with attack uses special ability, what will come to assist? Apply more dots and more importantly remove Terminator as well. So you know what does play important role in here on top of his tech that he dishes out. So if you can keep him alive through the battle it'll really make things easier. In terms of mods similar like a Basti uh, you know get his speed around 300 and his potency you know close to 100% so he can land those uh, dots for you consistently. Alright time to look at the mods now of my first opponent here. So obviously Ray, fully maxed, all the Zetas, ultimate and everything. And you know, quite decent speed, quite decent health on her. Um, that's her offense as well, and survivability. So we have Kenobi, Relic 7, Modded 4, protection and defense, some speed as well. That's his armor right there. Got a Relic 3 Watt here, um, probably modded for speed, so quite fast at 314. And we have a Relic 5 uh, Revan here, modded for speed, so he's at 306. And finally, Re Relic 7 General Skywalker, modded for critical damage. Quite some good speed on him as well, so he's at 277. And that's his offense stats right there, and his survivability. Alright, time for battle, so let me show you how this goes. Okay, here we go. There we go, their what goes first. Now it's time for my what to go out. So what you do is put a weapon tech over on Vader. So when Ray gets a turn, he will gain bonus to turn meter, uh, which means he will go before all of these guys. And then obviously you want to use a Merciless Massacre here. Here we go. And now on his first move, uh, what I like to do is actually target Jedi Knight Revan. Uh, because this will give me 50% chance to remove turn meter as well as because I've got tech what will be called assist removing his turn meter further. So here we go, we got nice turn meter remover there. So what I just like to do is then now go around everybody, put ability blocks on them. Okay. And let's put ability block over on what as well. Now we can do another. Here AOE with Vader, get more dots on the board. Now here Kenobi's got Permatont and that's why uh, bring in Treya, so Throne can swap Termeter with her. She will then isolate Kenobi, get rid of the taunt and at the same time uh, target uh, Vader so that you know Vader can get to his Merciless Massacre quicker because she will reduce his cooldowns by one. Here we go. Now this tag here, uh, Mad Pack, I like to put uh, on Treya just if um, Revan gets a direct focus on her, she'll be able to recover some Alpha protection. And this is what I like to use Basti as mentioned before, get fear on Revan so he doesn't get a turn. And then now finally Throne puts a fracture ray. Okay, so now looking here, uh, let's just do here a basic on um, Skywalker to remove his turn meter. Okay, let's get a shock, you know, just an extra debuff. And then just for the final tech, I just put it on Throne, just for the sake of it. Again here when using Merciless Massacre, I will target uh, Revan so that Watt can remove his turn meter. Um, and here um, I think we are probably ready to take somebody out. So I'll just take Revan there. So we got rid of his savior, yeah. So when we do kill Gas or uh, Kenobi, no savior there. That's why I like to take him out first. Uh, now let's apply more debuffs here. Okay, get rid of Watt there. And I put a basic on Skywalker and now here ready to put a big hit on Ray. Let's see how much damage we can do. 600k. That's a pretty nice hit over there. And it's just a case of uh, cleaning up these two guys. So as you can see Ray, she never got out of fracture. You know, so this counter works really well. Um, now sometimes that's happened, you know, that uh, you don't get all the turn meter removals and things like that. And then Ray would get out of her ultimate. Um, but even then it's 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 not a problem at, at all to be honest. Uh, that's why I'll show you a couple of more battles just that we can see different RNG how things will go. But this one as you can see you know it's it's not even close. Here we go. Can okay, either Merciless Massacre. Gathering of Kenobi Wow, was that a 1.7 million hit? I think it was. Wow, I've never seen it that high. That was crazy. Alright, so that was a very quick and easy win. 
Okay, so let me show you now the opponent for the second battle here. So again, you know, Ray, ultimate ability, fully maxed out, relics and everything. Now this one's a little bit faster than in the first battle. So it's at 524. And that's the rest of her stats. And we have Relic 4, Revan here. So let's check out his speed. So he's at 303. Gear 12 Watt in this one. And his speed is at 280. And Relic 7 Kenobi. And he's modded for health and protection. There we go. And finally Relic 7 Skywalker modded for offense. Some speed as well at 270. And that's his offense right there. And survivability. Alright, so let's go into the battle. Exactly the same team as the first one. And we'll see how this one will go. Here we go. So first of all, both wards go, they apply their tech, I apply mine. There we go, time to use Merciless Massacre here. Again, let's target Revan here to remove his turn meter, excellent. And I'll just go around, basic on everybody, basic, basic, and then finally over and what basic as well. Alright, here we go, so time for another Force Crash here, here we go. Swap over Terminator to Treya, can isolate Kenobi, and then uh, reduce Vader's cooldowns. Here we go. Fear over on uh, Jedi Knight Revan. Mad Pack over on Treya. Get a Fracture over on Ray. And we're all set. So as you can see in this one, uh, Revan did get a turn. Uh, that's okay. Uh, so let's see if. Uh, we have enough debuffs on him to take him out here. There we go. So we got River Revan. No more savior. No more his cleansing and everything. Okay, here we go. Um, let's use Merciless Massacre again now. Uh, just take out Watt here. Here we go. Another Force Crash. Uh, let's see if this is now enough um, to take out Ray here. We go another big hit here over 600k, and that's just a case of cleaning up these two guys. So you can see another clean win here, no problems whatsoever. Again, Ray did not even get out of fracture. Uh, Vader is really, really doing big hits here. There we go. Okay, uh, let's swap over to Vader. Um, do you know what? Let's see if we can take out Skywalker here. There we go. More dots over on Kenobi. Well, he's in damage immunity now, so we'll have to wait that he comes out of it. There we go. Come on. Ah, uh, there we go. Alright, so let me do one more battle here for you, just to see if we get a different RNG this time. So we got the Relic 7 Ray again, maxed out, all the ultimate, all the Zetas and everything. Now this one's slightly beefier looking at her health and quite decent speed on her as well. And as her offense and finally survivability. Looking at Jedi Knight Revan, so this one's at Relic 4 and his speed is at 302. And then Gear 12 Watt in this one uh, at 285. Relic 7 Kenobi. And he's modded for health protection. And that's his armor right there. Finally, Relic 7, General Skywalker here, modded for offense, some speed. So this one's quite quick at 280. Also, some nice protection on him, as well as offense. And there we go. Alright, time to do this one more final time, as mentioned. Just, you know, I like to do free battles when I can, just to show different teams, different RNG. Here we go, again, their what, my what, we just dish out tech as before. Time to use Merciless Massacre here. Target Revan, see if we can get some turn meter removal on him, excellent. Just go around, ability block everybody. Uh, finally ability block over there on what, here we go. Another four crash here. Swap turn meter with Treya. Isolate Kenobi, reduce Vader's cooldowns. Uh, pass over Mad Pack onto Treya. 
Uh, okay, this time my Basti did go before Evans, so let's apply fear on him so he doesn't get a turn. Finally, Fracture Ray, and here we go. Uh, let's see if we can get a big hit now on Revan here. There we go, 216, that was enough to take him out. Okay, so another Merciless Massacre here already. So you can see really quickly cycling through these. That's why Treya is useful for that, you know, one turn uh, cooldown reduction that she brings with her Isolate. Another 4 crush here. Uh, let me see if we can take right here out. Here we go. Big hit, over 600k again. So no, no issues whatsoever. So just a case of uh, taking care of the rest of the guys here. Go. Okay, now he's in damage immunity, so let's just switch over onto Kenobi here. Okay. Now we can finish him off. There we go. So that's one cool good thing about uh, as well what uh, this is uh, protection recovery ability will trigger a dots effect, so that's why. Uh, Skywalker there was killed because he had so many dots and when Watt used his second special trigger those dots you know we were able to kill him quickly uh, there we go now damage immunity on Kenobi I need for him to take a turn here uh, let's see now this is without Merciless Massacre so we don't get the offense boost here but still a nice big hit there on Kenobi and there you go guys, that's how this Vader team works uh, for me. I use this every day in Arena in both of my accounts. It works really well, I pretty much win every single battle easily as I've shown you in free battles in this video. As long as you know you get your kind of mods right the way I showed you in the beginning. And in terms of relics you really need Vader I would say. From my experience once I, I hit him you know, to relic 5 I really started getting consistent easy wins. Other guys while I do have them reliced, uh, I see my shard mates you know they do with gear 12 they don't need to be relic at all because at the end of the day have you seen Vader does all the damage so the other guys get hardly hit um, Ray doesn't even get her ultimate out most of the times so you know the gear 12 will do as well uh, and because as you can see this uh, works really well that's why in TW and JC you will see Ray's with Malak uh, in there because Malak shuts down uh, Vader's uh, turn meter gain and that's why for that case Throne lead is better against uh, Raze with Malax. Again, link will be in the description below. I've downloaded a guide on how to use Throne team to counter those uh, Ray Malak teams as well. So check it out if you're interested. But until then, guys, thank you for watching. Have fun and may the RNG be with you, my friends.